Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to solve the following simultaneous equation by elimination method. Well, the first thing that I would want to do is I saw that the first equation is being presented in this manner. I would write this as 5x plus 3y equals to 14 okay that's the first step so that i can see very clearly that the coefficient of both x and y are totally different okay so now this is going to be my equation one and this is going to be my equation two And notice what Mr. Tan is going to do. Mr. Tan is going to make the coefficient of x the same. How? 5 times 3 equals to 15. 3 times 5 is going to be equals to 15. But if I do this right, I must make sure throughout the equation, I times all the terms by the same number. Okay? So I would then have my equation 1 as 15x plus 9y equals to 42. Equation 3. I would also have 15x plus 25y equals to 90. Equation 4. So what do you think we should do to get rid of the, to eliminate the 15? So this is something now for us to think about. And so, 15, I have 15x and 15x, both are positive. Do I plus or do I minus them so that I can get 0? I need to get 0 to eliminate them. Yes, minus, very good. That's why you will then see Mr. Tan using equation 4 minus equation 3. Okay, 15 minus 15 will be 0. I have successfully eliminated them. So I'm left with 25y minus my 9y. The other side will be 90 minus 42. And we just need to solve this, okay? 16y will be equals to 48. So my y will be equals to 48 divided by 16. Now, we just need to substitute this into either equation 1 or equation 2. It does not matter. So I'm going to substitute this into equation 1. Okay, I'm going to do it here. Substitute this value of y equals to 3 into my equation 1. And what is my equation 1? 5x plus 3y equals to 14 and because I already know what is my y that means I'm no longer is going to write y already I'm going to write y as 3 so 5x plus 3 times 3 9 equals to 14 eventually I will get my answer for 5x is 
5, x will be equals to 5 divided by 5, 1. Okay, and the last thing before anything is just perhaps to do a quick check. By substituting both x and y numbers into equation 2, I will have 3x, x is 1, plus 5y, y is 3, and thus this gives me 18. Yes, it does. And so we have confirmed that our answers are correct. Okay. With that, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.